Hello everybody, my name is Tim PD and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 2. As you can see, I'll show you the player stats. Did some more grinding again, not as many levels as last time, but considering we're not even, th we're just starting hour number three of the Let's Play, considering I'm level 80, that's pretty damn good. So let's move on ahead. So we're heading down here past the Hyde's Tower of Flame. And what we're doing down here is we're going to the other entrance to the Lost Bastille. And fuck you. Nice swing. Good job. You win. By that I mean you did. And we could go in here. Now this is where my memory gets a little foggy. I've done all this. Oh, there's this guy. Oh, I do need to go back upstairs in a second. So one, a two, a three, and you're dead. And I hope anyone got that reference because you young whippersnappers probably don't get the reference. Let's head back up here to kill this dude. Hey, dude, I'm gonna kill you. One, two, three. One, two, three. See, I hit. That's the difference between us. So we got items over here. We got human effigy. We got a dark torch. I don't know why it's dark torch is dark torch. Soul of Proud Knight, not bad. And an old knight halberd. Again, not bad. Nothing spectacular, but nothing too bad either. So what we're gonna head to do is head down here. We're gonna fight at least one boss in this, probably two. But that'll be a fun time. Let's head over here and take care of this guy. And a one. And a two. And you're dead. Oh, come on, that was BS and you know it. Sometimes they really whip around for that last swing. Sometimes they don't. It's frustrating to deal with. Alright, we don't want the elevator just yet. What we do want is to go back this way and clear the other way. You never. This is one of those areas, it's kind of a transition area, that you really just never, ever come back to ever again. And there's nothing here. I'm kind of surprised. I'm thinking of downstairs, I guess, where there's a chest in that spot. It's kind of weird that there'd be nothing there, though. But I was mashing the button, and I checked online. I've been uh, checking guides and everything still. Um, and no, there's still no invisible walls, as far as I can tell, down here. It's kind of weird to go on these elevators where the camera centers on you, because it's so not how the rest of the game is. Like, the game's centered on you the whole time, but it doesn't feel this tied to you, you know what I mean? Like, it's really following me really steadily. It just feels different. Uh, nothing over there, I remember. Now this part sucks. This is where you have to fight in fucking water. This is where you're going to want the shield a lot more. So my first playthrough, I was like, shields are the devil, and they're kind of the devil. But they have their uses sometimes, I'll admit it. Okay, I just wanted to make damn sure, and... Huh. Well, I guess I can kill him with three one-handed swings. Didn't know that either. That's how many people died to these guys down here. I think there's the chest over here. If I remember. Oh, what the fuck? My memory must just be going, man. Oh, yeah, there's this hole in the wall. That's what I was looking for. Uh... I think I know where this goes. Yeah, that means I want to go back this way for a second. That is the way we want to go, but I want to check what was behind that knight. The old knight. Kind of reminiscent of the uh, big guys from Anor Londo guarding the cathedral. They are more annoying though. Yeah, this heads back up to a dry area, and this is where there's some items, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. Trap? Nope. God, that... You never... Oh yeah, night gear. Not as good as Elite Knight, and uh... Okay, so, let me actually say... Two things I did off camera, very minor. One was I bought a ring. The silver cat ring from Shao Kwar, that cat in Majula. That reduces falling damage. We are going to go back to the forest of the uh, fallen giants later on. And this door's fucking broken. Uh, and use that ring to finally clear out those salamanders. That area of the map. Um... And it's also got plenty of other uses, like the pit in Majula. You can actually start going down that thing once you, if you buy it, save up and buy that ring. But we're not going to do that that way. We're going to wait until later for the pit, because it's really fucking annoying. 
Um, and then the other thing was I bought uh, this shield, if you guys remember it. I was showing it off. Um, I bought that shield from Moglin, so he now sells the Elite Knight armor and does other stuff. So this takes us to No Man's Cove. And we're going to light this bonfire. EP. Hello. What is it? I don't know you, and you don't know me. Things are better that way. I won't take that answer. <laughs> you are an odd one. Normally, people keep a safe distance when they see this mark. Yeah. But you... I'm called Lucatil. From the land of Mira to the far east, across the mountains. They say Drang Lake brims with powerful souls, and so I came to claim my share. But what a strange place. Even the rumors did not prepare me. You are an odd one indeed. I've always made a point of avoiding people. While you've made a point of engaging me. I can see that you are mid-journey. If you require assistance, I will help Summon. you. Summon! I come from Mira, a land of knights. My sword is always ready. Don't hesitate to call upon me. Whatever happens, I won't be missed. You are an old Okay. I don't now, I don't know why she'd say her sword when it's clearly not in her sheath. I don't know where the hell it is, but... Sure ain't in your sheath. Not sheath. Sheath. Learn to speak. So this is No Man's Wharf. This is where we will find the other way onto... Or into the Lost Best Deal. It's a different entrance. It's not where the bird goes. Uh, if you get hit with those bombs, they are not fire bombs. They are, in fact, oil bombs. Uh, and if you get hit with a fire arrow or some kind of fire weapon, uh, it ignites and does crap tons of damage. Still just going around wrecking these guys. Really didn't upgrade my strength and deck since last time. I've kind of been building up stats for um, other purposes that I'll get into next recording session when they actually start having an impact on gameplay. These are new enemies. I think they're called like the Varangians or something. You've gotta you'd have to see the name of their gear. It's like V A R R something. They're kinda they're basically Vikings. Their helmet's pretty good. Um in my first in my one personal playthrough, uh as far as I'd gone I was use oh, excuse me, one of their helmets. Um with the Drang Lake gear, because the Drang Lake gear really doesn't have a helmet. Screw you. So friggin' dark. I hate that part. Walking across there's a real bitch. Ah, oh, god, my head is so itchy for some reason. Alright, anyway. So, unfortunately, into the water. Large soul of the lost and dead, and a life gem. Not spectacular, but... I could use a couple more little souls to pop when I need levels and stuff. Now, these guys just come flying out of everywhere, so kind of just kill this one on the left and hop in here. That's what I like to do, just kind of get out of the outdoors. He got dropped. There's that Var- oh, it's V-A-R. I thought there were two R's. Varangian Helm. Um, if my hat wasn't so styling, I would be wearing that. Oh, fuck, it's these guys. These guys are the worst part of No Man's Wharf. These big darkness monsters, I don't even know what you call them. They're fucking jerks. Okay, some arrows. Not too bad. Um, I'm hoping maybe next part I'll start to address, ra address ranged combat, because I would like to start... Because uh, I feel like that's a place I've always been lacking in the Souls games for a variety of reasons. Uh, I'm going to try to address that next episode. After more grinding. Because I'm going to clear out No Man's Wharf and... Grind all that down, and you know all the good stuff. Oh, that! I'm kind of shocked that that didn't hit me. I'm amazed that I'm one-shotting these guys. I mean, I know I've been grinding, and I'm way higher level than I really have a right to be right now. But still, I'm I'm spreading out my points a lot. I'm really, I mean, my strength is at 30, and I actually have enough for the weapon I want to use. I need armor. It's really not that bad of an armor set, even. Not spectacular, but not bad. So there's this, like, central staircase that kind of branches off in all the directions. But over here is something we're actually really going to want to check out. That freaking dog. We're going to fight more of those once we get back to the Lost Bastille. We should be getting there. We actually will definitely be getting there before this session's over. 
Uh, how long has this session been? I don't even know. I'm just gonna take a guess. At about 10 minutes, tops. So what you want to do is you want to come over here and do this Pharaoh's Lockstone because it's something really helpful. If we take a step back, that big light lights up and reveals a huge portion of this. And those darkness guys, they run inside. It's not a perfect system. That was a fucking headshot. But they actually get out of the way. And I had hoped to backstab him just to see it, but whatever. I'm killing him quickly. Ringing cuffs. I've pretty much got their whole set except for, like, leggings. But here's a chest. And in it we find brigand gear and a bandit axe. Basically, our starting equipment. Dark Souls games are always pretty serious about uh, always letting you find your starter gear. That was hilarious. I can't believe that worked. And we're about... Actually, oh yeah, we're going to come across an NPC shortly who is going to be extremely helpful in giving us a huge boost in power indirectly. Uh, not... Ooh. Okay. As long as he got staggered. That... Get the fuck out of here. This is a shortcut we need to open from the other side, and that is Lucatil's summon. And I'll show you where the boss is. I will say, you see up there that torch? I actually have the binoculars. You see the bell right in the middle? That bell is what we have to ring to summon that ship that you see in the distance. And that's how you get to the Lost Bastille. And to do that, we have to ring that bell. And what we're going to do, and what you normally do, is you go over there and you ring it uh, by pressing a button. But you can actually shoot it with arrows or magic to trigger it from farther away. Isn't that kind of cool? Now I'm checking this. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, this isn't it. Okay. There's two secret walls in uh, No Man's Wharf. Um, but they're both on the other... S uh, a couple... Like... Two minutes ahead. So that's the roof the guy fell through. Don't drop through there. That's kind of a bad idea. There's the house I went in already that comes out up here. There's nothing past it, as you can see. There's this house. I don't think I went in. But it's friggin' empty, so who the hell cares? I must have already been in there. Oh no, that was the, where the one darkness creature was coming from, I think. Or it was in here. I don't freaking know. There's another dog. Just ah, Fucking dogs. They're really annoying in this game. Can't go upstairs. Darn it all. Do, 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 do. So here's where you head up again. Oh god, my nose. Okay, so here's a part where ranged really helps. Just zap them, shoot them, whatever you want to do. Throw fire, whatever you do. Uh, and this guy is desperately trying to fucking get inside. Now you can aggro these guys to come outside. And they'll kind of just say fuck it about the light if you bug them enough. But these guys are not at that point. And I'm going to be very careful in here. Because these guys can... I don't know if it's poison or dark or whatever. See, bleed. That bleed, if they fill the bar up, just pops and does a crap ton of damage to you. And that's what I'm going to avoid right now. Oh, they're saying fuck it. Yeah, they're in the fuck it mode. Okay, do an attack. Let me get you. Yes. That's what I was hoping for. Thank you for the opening. Tattered cloth robe. Wow. Where the fuck are you going? He's just going nuts. Get the fuck back here. Get wrecked. Now, here's a trick that will help avoid you dying horribly. Large soul. Emit force. That's kind of useful. Nice little clerical sp uh, miracle, not a spell. Uh, start to open that, and then step over there and back away. And we'll see if it happens. Guess not yet. There you go. Because he's right frickin' there, and he should... Smash the wall down. And there are more of these guys on this side of the wall. This is gonna be the most annoying grinding I've had to... Oh, fuck, I'm bleeding now. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, this is going to be the most annoying area to fa to farm, by far. But I'm still committed to being horrifically overleveled and just doing lots of cool, powerful stuff in this playthrough instead of limiting myself. Get fucking out of here. 
Alright, so now we can head upstairs. And there's even more, I think. Yep, this one in the corner. God, they're annoying as hell. Let's take a drink. We can afford one right now. Ah! Sorry, it's a little late and I'm a little tired. Now here's something to be careful about. There's the NPC. He's really cool. Uh, this, I believe, is a f is bullshit. Yeah. Just dive away. Poison won't kill you. It's only one shot. It's gone. Silver Talisman. I'm starting to get to the point in the game where I'm worried about this shit. Being a fucking... Great sword. Not gonna use it. It's actually an ultra great sword, funny as that is. Who are you? I, Gavlan. Gavlan will. Gavlan deal. Gavlan wants soul. Many, many soul. <laughs> what you want. With Gavlan, you will. You deal. <laughs> Guess what cool thing he can do? You can sell to him. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Time to sell all of the stuff that I will never use. I'm gonna keep the Hide Knight just because it's cool. And the Bastard Sword plus two that I was using just for coolness. Great Sword, don't care. I know what my weapon will be. These are so see, these are not worth a ton. But it, like, doesn't matter. Just look at how many souls I'm already at and just keep selling them. Keep selling them. I recognize that this is... I'm gonna hold on to that for one reason. Now, you could say, Tim, you don't know when this stuff will be useful. Well, I kind of do. I, I kind of know what I have in mind, and I, I know that there will be plenty of good stuff later on for me to get. So I'm not too worried. And, it's, and I kind of like to just hold on to a ton of stuff. But this is so much easier. So in Dark Souls 1, you fed items to a guy named Frampt, Kingseeker Frampt, and that's how you pretty much got, would sell items. But it was a really inconvenient thing. You'd leave the menu every time you did it, and you couldn't stack stuff. And I mean, I'm obviously not here, but it, it trust me, it was way annoying. Look at how many fucking hollow soldiers I've killed and gotten all their shit. Um, this is more convenient, and I just feel like this is a much quicker process, so... If you bear with me for about a minute or two here, I'm just gonna sell all this crap. Uh, then I'm gonna open the shortcut and get back to the bonfire. Because I would like to... Bandit... Now, I'm gonna hold on to one of those. Old ironclad. You get regular ironclad later, and it's just straight better. Hide knight iron. I'll hold on to that. That's kind of cool. Anything kind of unique and interesting, I'll hold on to those, obviously. Fuck. Rings. None of them are worth getting rid of. Uh, are they? This one. Yeah, I'm probably not going to switch back. Leo, I can't sell. Just not allowed to. That's a tenth of what I paid. It's kind of worthless. That's kind of suck, but it's honestly not even worth the little bit. Bows. Uh, do I want to sell any of this stuff? Probably not. Token of Fidelity. I can easily sell that. Seed of Tree of Giants. I actually got one of those. That thing I said was in the giant's arm. I got one because I got invaded. Haha. <laughs> I got invaded and killed, and then I got one. It was like, yay. Too bad I farm away everything, so boo. Transform to blend into environment. It's kind of interesting. I got all this stuff I don't really need, but it's not worth selling. This stuff is definitely not worth selling. Uh, buy. He doesn't really sell anything good. He sells increased poise, ring of giants, poison arrows, and poison stuff. Fuck. Gavlan will. Gavlan deal. Gavlan what? What? With Gav. That's bait. That's Maybe. literally all Gavlan says. I hope that's supposed to be an invasion and I'm not fucking getting invaded by some other guy. I don't want to lose my humanity. Like, invading, honestly, I wouldn't care if I didn't lose my fucking humanity. I don't see him and I'm not even gonna bother. This is the way to go. Shit, I hear movement. 
Whatever, I don't care. It's probably me. Oh. Alright, so here's the shortcut house. Keeping an eye on the durability, because i got to get back to that bonfire. Because there's no more bonfires out here. Fuck you. Head up. Pull the lever. And bell. If you look. Whoosh. Whoosh. I wonder if Mr. Guy can hear that. It was actually hilarious. One time I got invaded while I was farming, and the guy, I hid from the guy up in that spot where I said uh, the one-time pursuer fight could take place, and he just fucking left, and he just quit the world, and I was like, oh my god, I felt so good. Oh, hello. You're here. That's not good. That's bad. My sword's getting pretty bad. I might have to switch to the hide knight. I'm just gonna, you know, I don't even want to risk it. Go bastard sword for a second. These things do sadly respawn, so like I said, I'm gonna have to farm them. Still no clue where the fuck this guy is. Whatever. There's a bunch of guys on the ship, too. This is going to be a big farming job. And drop down here. Now, what we're going to want to do is head over here, because there's a bunch of houses. And I forget which, but one of them is the, is the shortcut house. And at the same time... This is the shortcut house, because there's this wall. And what's in here? I forget. Large Titanite Shard. That's always helpful. Nothing amazing, but... Oh. Fuck me. Oh my god, can he not see me? No, he can see me. <laughs> Shit, I'm dead. Fuck me. I really hate... I hate being invaded. Just let me get this open. Oh, fuck. Just open it. He's throwing fucking... I don't even know what around. Can you stop? See you later. <laughs> I always like faking people out. I took a bit of a spill. Get out of my world! Shit! I'm dead. Yep. Lag. I would see. I wasn't even near him. Ah, that was a real person. Oh well. No big. Luckily, you don't need to be human to summon people. Or if you do, I'll just pop an effigy because I have so many. Because whenever I lost humanity while I was farming, I would just use bosses to fix it. And this is fixed now. Uh, the shortcut's open, though, so... And the ship's still here, so... We won't redo a lot of this. I, of course, I'll have to come back and kill everybody to farm them anyway, but... No big. Wow. Could I have started that off a little more fucking worse? Oh, my God. Why is my stamina like crap? Oh, yeah, that guy sneaks up behind you if you come this way, so... Oh, my God. If I die to this and lose all those souls that I just got from fucking Goblon, I'm gonna be sad as shit. Okay, good. I didn't totally fuck up. Seriously. If you invade, I don't care if you're doing it for a covenant or something, just fuck you. Just fuck you. Like, it's just so not enjoyable. I wish there was a way you could make it so that only people who wanted to invade could invade each other. Like, just get a taste of your own fucking medicine. Just leave everybody else alone. Oh, got yeah, one of their shields, too. Yeah, he retrieved. Oh, hello. I thought I could backstab him from the chair. Apparently not. So, what do we got? Iron arrow. Okay. Uh, let's 
See? Secrets open. Excellent. I knew you were behind me, and I hate you for shooting me. Yeah, there's the sign gone. Well, fuck. Oh, well. I gotta clear the way anyway, so I might as well just go forward and hope I don't die. You know what I mean? Oh, the door closed. That's weird. Come on, just open. Okay, so there's no more to go that way, because that is where it's walled off. But there is a house over here that has the second illusory wall, actually. Now, you gotta be careful in here, because those are full... Because that guy hopefully just found out of poison. And I think it actually just fucking killed him. Now, what I need to do... Um, actually... I don't know why I haven't set these... I have tons of arrows for this little bow of mine. Why the hell do I, they have to be in that left slot? Okay, what the hell. Let's just be on the safe side. Because it's... Come on. Uh, yeah. That one you do have to attack. And there. Fuck. No. Yes. Gotcha. Titanite shards, two, and one large Titanite shard. So there's the two hidden walls in this zone. Bunch of little souls and stuff, and then the chest itself. Not poisoned. Royal Soldier's Ring, and in what it does... Increase maximum load. So if you need to carry more, which I easily might... Which would mean I could... Start doing that shit. That's too much still. That weighs more for less value completely, almost, except for bleed resist. Oh, yeah. There we go. Throwing knife in a flame butterfly. I mean, you can rip those open and just pop some life gems, and it'll pretty much make you okay, but I like to do it the safer way. So we got two more dark guys hiding in this little fucking shack down here. A little beach, beachside resort for them. Oh, are you pissed? I'm so sorry, I don't care. You're just dead. Get dropped. There's a couple more enemies. Not many, but I'm gonna clear out the ship before I come back for Lucatiel. Human effigy and life gem. This guy... Just chilling in the water. A lot of these guys dual wield swords. Now, the sucky thing is there's no way to open the, this back up or anything. It's really freaking annoying in my mind. So this is not the way to the ship, but if we head over here... Hmm. I sense power. Very well. From this day, you shall be my new pupil. I am Carillion. Carillion of the Fold. Surely you've heard the name. Now, now, do not be afraid. Let us explore the limits of sorcery. Now, one day, Mike. He will only do that if your intelligence is above. I don't even remember what. Um, mine is at eleven. It needs to be like eight or something for him to talk to the you. The forces of magic and souls lie dormant in this land. It is a fitting place to hone my sorceries. I suspect that I may even conjure up new spells here. Sorcery is yet a mystery, even to me. Let us mature together, young pupil. Use scrolls to unleash the power of sorceries. But the power of each scroll is reliant on that of its owner. The untrained cannot wield a scroll to its proper potential. Like me, normally. Never forget, young pupil. 
there are no shortcuts to mastery. One day... There are very specific reasons I have my intelligence at 11, and why when I level up after this boss fight, I will show you that I will push it to 12 and never touch it again. Because I have, since the last recording session, I've known what my weapon was going to be. Uh, that I will get to, hopefully, within a... Uh, within a couple of recording sessions. I got some stuff to do, but it's also not... I'm With the pace I'm blowing through stuff, it's also not super ridiculous to get there reasonably on time. Uh, this is an annoying part. It's kind of, you gotta just let him come. That was not meant to be a jump attack, but it turned into a jump attack. Eesh. Oh, fuck you. Oh my god, I died again. Wow. That's two deaths in an episode. Then again, I got greedy as hell. <laughs> But what I was saying is I know, I've known what my weapon will be. But part of the reason that that weapon, um, for any of you who used the Great Sword of Artorias in the first game, it's kind of similar to that in the num in the way the stat, in the kind of stats it requires. I don't know when, there he is. I didn't know when this guy showed up, but I guess it's pretty quick actually. But, oh. Please don't hit me with oil. He missed. Um, and you'll see what it is later on, but I need some intelligence and some faith for it. And I kind of figured since I've never used magic before, of any kind of Dark Souls, what if I tried to start? Somewhat. Now, I'm not going caster or anything, because I still think that's a dumb way to... That's just... That doesn't appeal to me. Sorry. I know there are people who love the sorceries and everything, and love the miracles, and love the hexes, and love the everything. And some of it seems good, and I will, in fact, be choosing one of those paths. Um, but I, it will not be my primary focus. I'm still going to be using a sword. 95... <laughs> Jesus! I just lost 35,000 souls. I'm upset. <sighs> if I hadn't farmed so much, that would have been a much bigger issue. So I'm actually kind of glad now that I committed all that time to my immense stupidity. I Nothing makes you want to put a fist through a wall more than losing souls in any quantity like that in Dark Souls. The only thing that, in my personal experience, does that is playing League of Legends and having things just so not go your way. Uh, this is Are you fucking kidding me? If I die to these little shits, I'm gonna just... I am gonna be horrifically annoyed. Man, tomorrow when I do the farming for this, jeez, I'm just gonna take so much relish... I'll probably earn, like, 50,000 souls clearing this area out. He hit me with oil. I need to hide now. Where the fuck did that dog come from? Oh, he came from upstairs. Okay, I'm pretty sure... The oil's not gone yet, but it's getting there. You can look at your footsteps. If they still leave a residue, that means that they're that you're wet or something. Cut both of you suckers down. How? So, I don't get how sometimes people just live in this game. Like, just alive. Like, no, no blocking or nothing. It's just like, oh, this time you just didn't do as much damage. Sorry. It's like, why? I don't know. You just didn't. Oh my god, really? See? Like, what? What did I do differently? And where the fuck are you coming from? Is there really a guy over in that corner every time that I'm not... I'm just ignoring? Alright, well, you're just gonna die. These guys are definitely worth a lot more than those basic soldiers I've been fighting before. Anyway, hopefully I can get back to that damn ship now. 
I've been losing a lot of time on this episode. I really gotta plan out things better for next time. Then again, I'd almost say the Lost Bastille is easier. That stunned him enough to get that in. And now I can just... Ooh! Holy shit, I backstabbed him. Never did that before to one of them. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Excuse me. So much water. This is one of those really annoying summons. Like, why the fuck is Lucatiel so far from here? Like, look at how far I have to go from that shortcut. I have to go down the house, down the jetty, down onto the beach, th past the house with the darks, onto the ship, clear the ship. That guy just spawned. I saw him do it. I'm gonna fucking stop these two before they even get on. Also, this game has a bad habit of just spawning enemies. That's kind of BS in my mind. Like, where the fuck did they even come from? That was so risky to dodge on on this dock. I gotta get I gotta get towards light, and I gotta pop a life gem. I have 62 though, so I am doing a okay as far as those things. Hey, stop it! Stop running! Thank you. Don't want to fall. But yeah, so after I talked to Govlon, when I died, or if you leave the area, uh, Govlon is gone from here. He's only there for one conversation, and then he moves on to another area that we will come across later. I forget which, that's why I don't say the name. <laughs> Not because I'm trying to be mysterious. I just don't know the technical names for a lot of places in this game, actually, and that was just stupid. I'm pretty sure the ship is clear. Uh, yeah, so, I feel like I can now. Restore my humanity. Uh, you know what? If anyone should need this... What the fuck? Why isn't it writing? Can you not write on the ship? Oh, you know what? Because the ship technically isn't a solid piece of land. Yep. Bet you money. Yeah, that's what it is. So that explains why Lucatiel is where it is not on the ship, but... I'll be back.